I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Have... Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona... Oh, Cerberus. I... She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. Sorry, mustache. Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? Well, General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. Then you ought to lock the door. Oh... The memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> Let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. Couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, ah! Dance with me, Robin. Shame I won't remember any of this. You do come here to forget. Oh. Fuck in a bucket. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. I've got to learn to give up some possessions, or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. I'm risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I didn't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around... Well, intense like that, I just knew. That's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. This ancient thing. 
I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen of White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. Uh, I've been living in the garden the district. The garden district? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh, God. I could help you. I do know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have an act for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous, because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash V1? These days I spend a lot of time there. Remembering. Look. It's a horrible, terrible world out there. And no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well, there's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. The worst thing about Joy is... You can't read people. How are you supposed to know who people want you to be if you have to rely on what they say? I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry. I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old, and, and we've decided to to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> this is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right, I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. Oh. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. Lovely day for it. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? Oh, the odious McClear sisters. No, it's in the will. We agreed. That was before you pissed on the Sheraton sofa. I did not. It was Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me in the will. I feel like a Serve mule right. carrying all this. You I love that sofa. And just about well, as fast, too. What will you train me? For a piss...
offer? You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands. You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you have lots of potpourri. It does whiff. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa. Or will be. It's Edmund's piss. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. There you are. Don't you just love the smell of motiline? It's so modern. What do you think you're doing? leave something to be desired. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. Oh, it's been too long. Did you hear? Talking Jack did another one. Last night. Best day in. My goodness. I have somewhere else I have to be. China? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard cast, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Honor! Retina! Help! This will only sting a little. <laughs> you deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. All right, I have my maturity extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Oh, I've got to learn to give up some possessions. Or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail. Lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? 
Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me. possible to take too much joy. Is it possible to take too much joy? Well, Mrs. Schubner, it is. What's your pleasure, then? Have you got my chemical back? Not quite yet. I had no idea you had to be so careful with chemicals. Give me another little while. Have you got my bird feeder? Yeah! Yes! Yes, I have! Oddest looking bird feeder I've ever seen! Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Come again soon. We often have new stock. Mrs. Penker says a shop. How long has she had a shop? I shouldn't be surprised. That woman could sew a wedding suit for an octopus. All your favorite wartime heroes from the generals to the common Tommy. Mrs. Pankhurst, how have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful when things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the Reform Club, but my old outfit... Oh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the Reform Club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. I wish I'd learned to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. a new shipment any day now. There you go. Hope your bird likes it. Flowers. Lionel, flowers.
I got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I've made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. You're looking fine today. Not today, I'm afraid. Can you believe I blew it all on these boots? <laughs> Try not to poop again until I get a new nappy on you, okay? Is that your hungry cry or your tired cry? It all just sounds like loud sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>